New at five tonight, there's a new push in Olympia right now to get illegal drugs off the streets. In 2021, the state Supreme Court ruled the law as it was written was unconstitutional. One of the four new bills, Senate Bill 5035, would make drug possession a felony. As Peter Choi explains, that bill is drawing mixed reaction from local voters. Peter. Yeah, that's right, Aaron. People I spoke to today have mixed reaction to these bills, and some say we need tougher accountability to decrease drug possession, and others think more imprisonment does not reduce state drug problems. When you're an addict, your brain gets foggy, and this is part of the reason why people that use fentanyl need to be prosecuted because we're losing babies. Nearly two years ago, Sharon Murphy's 17-month-old grandchild, Serenity, died. I know she always had a habit of putting stuff in her mouth. From accidentally getting into drugs that Serenity's dad was using at home. She now wants people caught with dangerous drugs held accountable. I mean, by going to jail, you go to jail for having that fentanyl on you. In that jail, drug court, the methadone clinic, you can be still held accountable. The Spokane County Medical Examiner reports a huge spike in deaths caused by drug overdoses in 2021. 285% jump since 2020. Over 100,000 people are dying every single year in this country due to overdose deaths. That's terrible. Spokane police say this increase is a reality and believe Senate Bill 5467, which gives the option to dismiss charges by going through treatment, is a step in the right direction. And what I like about this bill is it does offer that option of treatment. And if not, then it does allow the government to say, we need to protect you from yourself in this scenario. However, not everyone is in favor of these bills. Honestly, isn't going to make a difference to the addict. Overcoming drug addiction for years, Angel Tomio Sam says addiction is a behavior health issue. She says ramping up the penalty won't solve the crisis. So important for this ability for people to seek services in the community, that, they, that the services and, and treatment be made available to them in the community and not in a carceral setting. And there's no word yet when the votes will be held on these bills. And we'll have a, a breakdown of each Senate bill on our website, kxly.com. In studio tonight, Peter Choi, 4 News Now.